Now that we've finished doing our sidewall planing, we can start working on the edge. And by working on the edge, what we're going to do is set the edge angle. For example, the tool that I prefer to use for this is the Sun Valley Ski Tools Pro Edge Beveler. Precise stainless steel manufactured to the most accurate degree of perfection. What we'll do now is we'll use a Panzer file or a Strawberry file. These are both completely your own personal preference. We'll put the file inside the guide like so. We'll take our one inch spring clamp, spring clamp that there. Take the heel, set it onto the base of the ski. Just you make nice, easy strokes. The common thing that people say is, how do I know that this angle is achieving what I'm cutting it at? Well, once you start doing it a lot of times, or several times, you're going to be able to see a difference in your edge as you go down it. The really easy way to check yourself, especially when you start initially doing side edge prep and base edge prep, when you really want to make sure that you're getting that right angle from the tool, and you want to make sure that you're cutting the right amount off, is just take a normal Sharpie pen like this with black. And what you can do is just put it on the edge, okay? And you pull it down the edge of the ski. You can pull it the length of the ski. What that's going to do is form a very, very small, thin layer of ink that when you go to use this tool, you can see exactly how much you're taking off and how much of the ski you've accomplished by going down the length of it. It's a very good way to start and to learn how to use this tool. Now this is a very aggressive file, the most aggressive file that you can use. So you're going to leave some styrations, and you're also going to leave some edge marks that are already there. Side note, an old dollar store paintbrush works great for removing these filings off the side of your ski. And also for cleaning your tools. From that step, we'll go to an 8-inch super chrome file. It's finer, the teeth are closer together, going to give you a lot finer cut. At this point, we've done a very aggressive cut. We want to start getting into our finer cuts. 8-inch file. 8-inch file, 6-inch file, 10-inch file. 6-inch being very fine, 8-inch being in between, 10-inch being just a little bit wider teeth apart. We'd like to keep the file inside the tool. If we go outside the length of the tool, what can happen is that by the file bending, it changes the required degree that you're trying to accomplish with the ski. So we move that inside. Also makes the tool much easier to maneuver. And we're going to place the heel once again to the base. And we're going to start with nice overlapping strokes. And what we want to do is break this up into three sections. The tip section, the mid section of the ski, and the tail of the ski. Now by overlapping, you put all of these pieces together. To do our finish with the super chrome file, we're going to make a few passes from tip to tail. Now, give yourself a little bit of room to stretch out and keep walking past the tail. A common stop and problem with the tails of skis is that people will try and make final passes but not move their body, meaning that they don't put any pressure towards the tail. Okay. At this point, we have filed and we have our edge angle set exactly the way we want. progress from removing our sidewall, setting our side edge bevel, we want to start with our diamond files and our ceramic stones, polishing stones to get a finished product. 